everyone, and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial. And I still remain your most wealthy show making made easy to tell. Oduroli Mojibola. And if you're watching my channel for the first time, you are so much welcome. And we have been working on this particular pin talk men's sanders for a while now. So I need you to press the notification bell, press the subscribe button, and subscribe to my channel. Sit back, I'm gonna be right back. Yes, before I move into lesson, I need to quickly remind us of this particular intermediate class. Don't forget that it's starting 26th of June and you have free ebook bonuses. So let's quickly look at the process of lesson now. Now I'm going to be using my finger. As you all know, I love to use my finger and I'm also going to use my feet for you to see. If you place, if you are going to be placing your finger, for me, I will have suggested that you place your finger this way on top of this insole and not this way. But I'm going to show you the two of them, the two ways you can place it and what position you should use. Now, if you are placing it right here, I'm going to suggest, considering the width we are using, because that's one, one very important thing you should always take note. This is 8 centimeter. This is 8 centimeter. Our width is about 8 centimeter. You can see. You can see this one is even a little bit. Okay, this is a little bit more. You see, I think that's as a result of our food. It's kind of inconsistent. So we are having like 8 centimeter here. So when you place your fingers like this, I'm going to suggest you use this place. This one and this one. On this side not exactly here but a little bit under now I understand that everybody's finger is different but even as at that you will find out that if it's going to be if it's not going to be exactly at the same position with my just a a slight difference you know like um, um it's not going to be something that is going to be very significant so like here and here that is what I'm going to suggest. If you want to put your hands up more, I'm going to suggest you use this side and this side. Yes, if you're going to put your hand to reach here, put this side and this side with respect to this kind of width. So if you are creating any pattern that has as that has this kind of width, you can actually follow this, especially if you are creating even for a man. And even if you are creating for a woman, it will definitely work. But for, ma for men generally, this will work when you're working with width such as this or you know you have eight nine you understand eight centimeter nine centimeter width like this it will definitely work because you have to be careful so that you do, they don't experience a kind of pain on this part of their toes so now let me use my feet for you to see what it looks like and if there are differences between this and actually my foot, if there's going to be difference, probably very slight, you understand, or it might end up actually being exactly. So let's go to my foot. So now don't mind the fact that my foot is actually um, for female, but if you look at it, you look, you find that I look more like it's masculine. <laughs> so it's a white feet. I, I have a very white feet, but it's no longer white. So I'm not going to be placing my foot like this now. When I want to, when the when the person wants to wear the foot, they are not going to be placing their foot this way. They are going to be placing their foot somewhere like this because there will always be space in front. How many people wear footwear and you are having this kind of space? Probably the person they make it perfectly well. So on the average, you have about about 1.5 centimeter space up here most times on the average. So you have to consider that. And thank God that the, the, the space that we left here is actually 1.5 centimeters. So it's a good guide for you to know where they will position their feet. So if your own is not having this kind of, you know, inner bed, inside inner part, you understand, it's just all flat. All you need to do, you can decide to carry your, your ruler and measure like 0 0.5, 1.5 centimeter and then put your leg there and then last. I think that's another thing you can do if you don't want to go, if you are not sure of where to position the leg, if this is not there, the smaller one. So I think I've given you a tip from there. These are what you're going to be enjoying in the intermediary class. So I don't know why, I, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please don't forget, as soon as I have the number of 30 participants that I need for the free ebooks, please, you won't be having access to ebook. Only the class. So please go and check it out. Go and go and get yourself you know 
registered please go and get yourself registered i will try to put the link for registration in the comment section also under the description of this video please go and use it go and use it uh, you need to see the word of the ebook the two ebooks just see what you have on the screen so it's something that you should not actually overlook so let's go to our lasting process if i'm going to last definitely i can last this footwear like this how would they wait? The weight of the remaining part at the back will not even make the shoe convenient. So, I'm going to make sure that I position this this way and I last this way. Now, I need to look at me. I didn't do it like this. You can see this is bent. Even here, it's, it's showing that it's bent. So, try to see how you can position this place and position it like this. So with this now, you find that one way or the other, this one is a little bit out and this side is hidden, just a little. They may not necessarily be at the same spot because of this side and this side. Our foot, if you look at it, they are not straight, they are slant. So most times when you fix your footwear, it will definitely be slant. It will def most times, only few designs. Only few designs. I taught us how to create an open toe in one of my tutorials. You can check it out. That one, most times you find out that they are almost at the same spot, that particular design. But this, most times you don't find them on the same spot. Most times you don't find them. A little difference, you always have a little difference. Just little, not much, quite much, but you have little differences. So let's see what I have here. Let's say I'm placing it right this way. You can see my small toe is coming out. And that is good enough. You understand? If you don't want the front toe to come out, if you put it this way, you see this side can be distorting this toe. It can, be, in short, all this kind of style, straight rectangular styles like this used to distort somebody's leg here. So it's better for you to just adjust it and make sure that at least it's not something that to be distorting them here. So this place is still fair enough. If it's touching here and not on these bones here, can be very, very painful. So... You have you can see what I have here. So when you position this, position it this way, what you need to do is try to remove your feet. You can see that my hand is still holding it. Use your second hand to hold this side. Just do it carefully, honestly. Try to see. Okay, mark here. Come to this side and mark again. Just press down. Now you can see what I have. Look at what I have. If I place my hand, let's see the slight difference that it's going to have. Don't forget, I said when you place your hand like this, you should use this side. Don't forget, and this one. If you place your hand in, inside the smaller one. Now, let's look at it. Can you see that it's almost equivalent to that side? Now, if you look at this one, it's slight, you see, it's not on it. Slightly under. Please see. Can you see what we mark? Can you see slightly under? These are the beautiful tips I'm going to be showing us. This is just, part, of course, particular to this and not to all designs. You understand? It's just particular to this and not all design look like this. So, as soon as I post, you can see that it's actually almost at the same spot. So, some of these things is not like, oh, there is a magic around it. But in the wisdom of God, you understand, God helping us to interpret each and every of these things. So we do, the few experiences I have is what I'm willing to share with us. You, you are, we are going to have 10, 10 different groups. That's what I tend to do. 10 people in a group just for mentoring and monitoring. I want you to be accountable to yourself in a group. I want you to be able to challenge yourself. It's not like I'm going to pack everybody together. Of course, if, it's going to, if you are choosing Telegram, definitely I'm going to pack everybody together. But if you are choosing WhatsApp, I will try as much as possible to see how I I can group us into tens into ten although i'm looking at grouping us after the class because i want a situation where you can benefit from other people's question because that's another thing you need to benefit from other people's questions so but i will see how i can make sure that this class is full of you know you have so many things to get out of it so please i don't want you to miss it for anything i don't want you to miss. it's as good as i'm running a free class if you are going to use my youtube video to actually learn all of this it means you have to take your time to search and search and search before you can locate them all but with the class, you have me right there. Ask questions and I'm answer. After this, um, the 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 bed this uh, training series, I'm telling you, there won't be any. The class, the even the pro, in short, 
Most times I remove my bonuses from them and I multiply the price. That is what happened. Go and check. Just go and check. Those people who, have, who attended my beginner's class, they paid around 3,000 Naira, if I'm very correct. Yes, for a three weeks intensive training. Now go and check what the price looks like. It's about multiplied by three or four. So that is what happened. When my classes I start like this, I just want to encourage. I just want you to be encouraged and do something and make take good steps and produce something that at least at the end of the day, you can make money out of it. So you can see what we have here. I'm just going to go ahead and use my punch plier. My punch plier. So if you need punch plier, please let me know in the comment section. I can, I can make it available for you online to actually purchase it. Is I think the the one I the one I have is about three thousand five hundred naira. If I'm correct, three five. Please, way bill is not inclusive. Oh, before somebody will be chat asking me now, is it inclusive of way bill? No, no. But I can put it on on. I have some online markets that I can put it for you so that you can just I'll just send you the link. You just you know make the order and the shipping will not be as much as him. Miss, we billing it to you. So you can see what I have here. Now, if you don't have this, please, it's not a must. If this is what you have, this is about two millimeter. If I'm correct, this is two millimeter. They normally write um no um let the numbers around this part of it. So you can just pick get two millimeter, get one millimeter. So this is two. This is two. So all you need to do is place it. Get a plank. Please don't just punch on the floor, or else you will crush the the edges of this this particular um, part of it. So don't place it on iron. Don't place it on the floor. Get a plank. Get a plank. There is actually a board that is also used for this. You can get the board for punching. It's always available in the market. So place it, armor it, and plunge it. So it's not compulsory that you look for this. If you don't get this, please use this. This is cheaper. This is cheaper. This is cheaper. So, place this right here. Place it right here. So many times I've seen us punch and I see people over, open. I don't know how you do those things. I don't know how. I don't know how. Somebody's already thinking, why is she punching it? I'm punching it because I don't want it to be tearing. If you punch like this, it secures this end. So, by the time it secures that end, I place this here. Covering what I punch initially and then come back to this lower part and also pick. Come to the lower part here. I will not pick directly on that. I will put my, my punch inwards a little bit and pick that part again. I will go ahead and punch that one too. Can you see what I have? Now look at the way I'm going to open it because so many times I find out that when you feel you when you open your own is always much. How come? Why is it that you don't always place it? You just used to carry knife. You will not punch. You will not punch. You carry knife. You delete knife. Open. How about now? That's why it's not looking neat. So now I'm going to be using my utility knife and I'm going to be using this angle A. Just that place. That's what I'm going to be opening. So this this line here is going to serve as my guide. And um, please look at me. So you see that I didn't open now. If you now my own utility knife. Don't ask me where I got it to. Because I'll not answer. So <laughs> you can see that I didn't open it like this. Some of us will open and the tea will be so long by the time you get to where your destination, which is here, the tea will continue to open. You don't need it. Ungwa, you don't need it. I'm learning Igbo now. You don't need it. Did you hear me? You don't need it. So just a little is enough. Just for the thing to keep opening. And this side will be guiding it from actually exceeding where you want to stop. So let's move. Can you see? It's going inside. Straight. That corner. That corner. In short, I don't used to do Oliver Twist. And say I want to make sure that I get here. I don't do that. You can see this is where I stop. I'm going to turn it like this. Then go from here to join this one. I'll go from here and join this one. Just because I don't want it to exceed where I'm going. Please always punch. So many of us don't punch. I keep saying this thing. Punch. I just want you to know that all this one is just tips of an iceberg from what we are going to be learning during our class. 
it's going to be raw and exclusive so it's not like oh mm, she will have packed and edited some parts even those ones this the errors that i make i'll try and show you people how i corrected it i'll try and show you you can see that we have already opened this side although i would love to open it more because of the width of what i'm inserting into it because or oh, yes if i insert it like that let me show you something If I insert it just like that, can you see the way this one is bending? You will find out that that side, sometimes, I think the width is fair. This side, it will bulge out. You see the way this one is still looking fair. Sometimes you finish and this place will swell up, will come out as in excessively by the side. It's because of the thickness of your of your upper. When your thickness is much more than what you opened, it will not set inside that thing. It will have to push this one out for it to stay inside it. So just make sure that you can see how this one perfectly fits it. It will. It will. Because I used it to, to create the opening. I don't know how you eat. I'm sure it's because you're not always punching the two edges. Please get punch. It's about 300 naira, about half a dollar in Nigeria. I'm just talk, t trying to say so that those of, those of us who are not in Nigeria will understand what I'm saying, the price. Get it. Get it. So I'm going to try to also, you know, increase it more. But I'll go inside, not outside. I won't be touching this one. I'll just go inwards just to open it more. I'm going to do the same thing on this side as well. And when I'm true with that, I will place it this way. Now, if you place it this way, it might be difficult for you to connect this and this, but it's not. You can get an iron that can pass through the two places. So just align it here. You see? In short, I, anything I see that is useful for me, I grab it. I saw this one with my children. I don't even know where they got it. But I know it must have been one of their daddy's tools. So you can see, I grab it and kept it. It's useful for me now. See, it will penetrate and it will, I will use it to create, to punch, to punch this one. Can you see? So I have already placed that. That's what I'm going to do to everything by the time I finish opening all of them on the other side of the footwear. So it's not like you have to go through the process of start placing your hand again and it will not be on the same, at the same point on it. No. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm just going to quickly open that and then... I'll come and show us how I'm going to be inserting it into it. So now that I've opened it, you can see how wide it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and try to use my sandpaper. I'll use my sandpaper to actually roughen all of this side. I've told us you can put this on a small plank if you don't want to. I mean, you can put it on a plank like this. This down will be easier for you. I want to rub them the surface so that by the time I put my sole now, it will adhere to it perfectly. So, let me see what I have. So, do this before you go ahead and insert your hopper. Don't forget that this has become what we call our upper. This is our upper, so we are just going to go ahead and insert it. I think it's going to be insert in this way. This one, let's see what it looks like. Now, even if when you insert and you find out that, oh, this is too, the size is small, use your punch to increase it. Use your punch to increase it. Not that you now carry utility knife increase it more at the end of the day the thing will not be at the right position if you look at the position of this in short if you look at it very well can you see that this one goes inside a little bit more than this this one is out and this one is in that is how your footwear should look like most times it may not if the distance is not really much this is just about if you look at it it's just it's quite small but then if you look at it like this you won't really notice it you won't notice anything it's maybe probably you, you press like this when you press like this you see that okay it's slant you understand on no circumstances should you create something like this this kind of a pin talk men casual slippers and you find out that this side of the footwear at least you can see this side you can see the way this side look like this side 
it, this side should not come out and this one will be in, it will be inside no the fullest part of the foot is on this uh, it, the way it lies here so how can this side come out this side should be the one guiding and carrying the full part of our feet so it's always a little bit you know outside just about 0.2 mill 0.2 centimeter which is about two millimeter very small so please always pay attention to that automatically if you place if you position your upper very well all these things will fall in line you don't have to do it yourself it will do by itself as it will correct itself so with what i have here i'm just going to go ahead and insert my last now for last thing, look at this this is size 44 according to the shoe last i bought is size 44 i have padded it now before i pad it it will only work for somebody who is using a slim fit as a very slim 44 leg that's the only thing the person it will work for now that i've padded it i i have to still for some people who use size 42 it will still not size 10. those are the things i'm going to be explaining to us how you can know what way how, which way out because if you buy your shoe like you think buying different sizes is what will sort out oh it's not sizing my customer when i finish it's it's not true because i found out that especially this wooden last even the plastic glass has different widths so it's not like oh when they tell you that it's 44 you will make you carry it and you will get them and use it for 44 to size them sometimes it doesn't size and sometimes we are so lucky we have a perfect shape. I find out that there are different kinds. There are so many times. In short, the one I bought, one leg, this one is wider than this one. Even if you look at it, you find out that if you look at and you see this one, look at this one. They are wider than themselves. So all these things you have to actually pay attention to. And I'm going to be explaining all of this in intermediary class. Please go and check. Go, please. Please go and be writing down your questions. Join the class. So let me quickly put this. I'm going to be using this particular 44 for this 42, 43. Yes, because that's what will size the person. That is what will size. So that is what will size. So I'm going to even push it forward so that the front part will size the person perfectly well. So if you notice this side, make sure that this one doesn't go like this when you are lasting. It has to be on top of that one at the middle. Let it be at the center. Always. So that when the person is wearing the footwear, it doesn't slip to this side and slip to the other side. It's supposed to stand right and straight. Supposed to stand right and straight. So pay attention to that. So, and I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and apply my contact cement adhesive. Apply on this side. Apply here and also apply here. When you want to finally last this footwear. Some of us, you just pick up this one because the gum is dry. You put, you carry it up, you put. Please don't last like that. Don't last like that. Especially if you don't want them, want this side to be swelling. This side will now have one, one eye, one shape here that is not laying very well on the person's feet. Like it's bulky here. It's because of the way you are lasting it. All you do is just place like this and last. Ungwa, no. No. In case you want to be my Igbo, Igbo, Igbo tutor, please let me know. I want to learn how to speak Igbo. At least you can hear me saying Ungwa. So, this side now, when you want to place it, you have to pull it. Make sure it's laying perfectly well. Then bring it downward. Don't place like this. When you place like this, this side will be opening up when they are wearing it. So, please let it go down this way. And when you want to last this one, don't just last. Last it, let it go inwards. Then you go to the middle and finish it up. That's how to last. Don't just put everything and at the end of the day, the shoe with the foot will not be staying on their leg perfectly well. These are the things I'm going to be showing us for different designs. How you can make sure that it's looking perfectly well, it's neatly finished. Ah, in short, let me quickly apply my contact, apply the contact adhesive, then show us how I'm going to finally last it. So now I've applied my contact cement adhesive. You can see the way I push the top. I understand this shoe last after I started um, using it. You understand? That's why I'm telling us that I'm just going to be using the little experience I have to teach us how you can easily work with just your last. Now, this one that I have, you can see me pushing it forward. Despite the fact that the size I'm working with is 42, 43. Although the person has a very wide feet, but then 
you, you are, of course normally i'm supposed to get a 42 last and use for this the 42 last i've been using they are the 42 last that when if i if i use it to to to, to last my own personal shoe which is i use size 40 i use 39 it will perfectly size me 42 last so i mean this part so some of those things you just find out that you there's a way you can actually make use of what you bought you understand and i will teach you what you do so with this now you can see i've pushed it forward now like i was saying the other time you can see me pressing this one and pressing this one press it downward like this and last it this side come to the other side to press you can see the way i'm holding it press it make sure you are pressing it very well i'm pulling it as well pull it so that by the time the person wears his shoe, it will lay on their leg perfectly well. Then you will come to this particular side. You can see me holding it this way and pulling it as well and putting it inside. Then come to the center. Try to do that one gently. Do it gently like myself. I love to do this. Then I'll put it down. Pick up your armor and armor everywhere. So this one too, you can see me, this one here now. So this side as well, you pull it in and just goes gently this way. And then cut all this split that is trying to form at this end. Then you armor as well. Voila, footwear is ready. This is what I was saying. If you are not careful, when they wear it, it will bulge out like this at this corner. So by the time you pull it in very well, that will not happen. You know, because of the shape of the person's foot, you can see what I'm having. You can see what I'm having. So all we need to do now is just to go ahead and bottom our footwear. So when it comes to creating the sole, the outer sole, what I normally do is I use this one that I cut out to create my outer sole. That's what I normally use so that it will be easy for me to bottom it. So I normally use this and it's because I'm going to be using my grinding machine for the edges. If you are not going to be using grinding machine, I'm going to suggest that you use the same template the same template you use for your inner use it for your outer so that by the time you are finishing the edges it will be easy for you to actually finish it using your sandpaper you know or your hand sanding tool so for me i'm going to be using my grinding tool my sanding tool for the edges that is the reason i'm following this process so i'm going to place it on my sole this way and then cut it out now for the half heel what we always put here the half heel what i do is I calculate what is the length of my footwear. I divide it by three and use that as my, that's what I normally use as my own heel. Yes, you know, there's an extra heel we are always placing here. I divide the whole length of whatever sole I'm working with, the whole length by three. And that one third part of it is what I normally use. Sometimes I reduce it because I normally try to work with in centimeters. So I reduce one centimeter out of whatever my one third is. So let me use this ruler to show us what I mean. For example, now this particular one is this. This is 29. The full length is 29. So 29 divided by 3. That's what you are going to work with. So, for example, I think 29 divided by, that is about 7, if I'm correct, 7 point something. So, you can decide to just come here and check out. Am I correct? Is that 7? No, it's not 7, it's 9. It's 9. 9 plus 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, I think 9 times 3 is 27. Yes. So, I can just decide to just use round it up and use this 9. So it means when I'm going to cut my half heel, I'm just going to cut this shape, this particular shape out and place it on top of this one. I've thought how to create stack heel. So I don't think we should be going into that in this class because I find that so many of us are not commenting. So many of us are not liking this video and so many of us are also not washing it. So it means we already know what I want to teach. That's why we are not washing. So let me just go ahead and then um, cut out the sole. 